Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, just want to explain a little something about the Windows updates. Um, a lot of people are wondering why they have an optional update, for example, installed at some point. And here's the thing. When Microsoft introduced Windows 10, it introduced a new system called Cumulative Updates. This is in a very, very good, very nice feature in general, because if you guys remember Windows 7, any tech guy will tell you that reinstalling Windows 7 is a nightmare with all the updates that it has to do. It was dreadful to do, and unless you had an image with a lot of the updates already pre-installed, you would wait forever for it to be up to date. And that was crazy long and crazy ineffective. Cumulative updates in Windows 10 are much better. They actually are just looking at what updates are missing and they install the package of everything that's missing. You don't have to, you know, install 200 separate updates. You don't have to wait, you know, and restart and wait and restart and over and over like Windows 7. It is a much more interesting system, but it has, it's not perfect, like we say. So you guys have noticed that there are some bug fixing optional updates that appear, and often they'll be in a section called optional updates, and you have to click the download and install to install them. These updates, when they are uh, downloaded to your PC, are often called preview updates. So any updates that has a name of preview, like you see here, are updates that are not security. A lot of people have the impression, oh, this is not a finished product. Yes, it is. It's the way they call updates that do not have any security in them. So those are optional, and of course, you can leave them there. Especially uh, interesting is if you have a problem with one of them, you can uninstall it, and when it comes back, being an, being an optional update, it actually doesn't install automatically, which is nice. The problem is that cumulative updates, like I said, look at what's missing and install in a package. So an optional update will actually be installed without you having anything to say every time we have Patch Tuesday. Because the security updates come in the form of a cumulative update. That cumulative update actually looks at any other updates are missing and it will actually install the optional updates. So that is fine in general for most people, but if that optional update created a problem for you, well, Patch Tuesday will reinstall that cumulative update that gave you a problem as well as the um, you know security updates. And so this is a flaw, I would say, in the cumulative update, the way they work, but that's the way it's designed. And it's designed like that because Microsoft pretty much wants you to have all the updates on your Windows operating system. But it can be annoying uh, that it does that. It can be annoying that, you know, on a patch Tuesday security update, you do want them because they are important. You end up with also the optional updates being installed at the same time. So when we get those optional updates, even if you don't install them, they get installed automatically with Patch Tuesday. So for example, this month, Patch Tuesday is going to be next week, September 14th. And on September 14th, even if you didn't install the latest bug fixing updates that were released last week, you'll get them installed at the same time as you get the Patch Tuesday security updates installed. This also makes the updates longer sometimes. So if you don't install the debug fixing updates, you might find that Patch Tuesday security updates take longer to install. Why? Because it installs also the other package at the same time. So, you know, in a perfect world, that would not be the case. Unfortunately, uh, that's the way it works. But yet, I think, um, personally, I prefer this way of having updates than what Windows 7 ever offered in the past. If you have any comments, questions, let us know, and I hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe.